So how do I transcend fear? Well, the first step in transcending fear is is allowing it to come more to the surface of consciousness. Because once you begin to look at the split mind, you can see that that not only has this divine love, this glorious love been pushed out of awareness, but but even the the fear and the hatred has been pushed out of awareness. So you might say that this linear cosmos is like a trick of trying to hide away from love and hide away from fear and become extremely distracted and unaware of these emotions. Unaware of love and unaware of fear because of the intensity of those emotions. So, time is like a diluted uh, form of uh, distraction in which it's systematic distraction. Everything of the world, all the images of the world are used by the ego as part of this systematic distraction. And when you want to transcend fear, you basically are praying a prayer in your heart and saying, let me bring an end to the distraction. Let me see things exactly as they are. Let the, the fear surface and come into awareness that I may let it go. That I may not hide it from the Holy Spirit anymore. And so, the transcending of the fear can only come about through mastery, through love. It's not like you transcend fear in the way it's talked about in the world. You know, fear of heights or fear of physical intimacy or, or fear of disasters or weather conditions. Uh, you don't transcend fear by holding on to these misperceptions and thinking that you're facing something in form, it's more that you're allowing the, the false ideas, the false concepts in the mind to come up and then be gently handed over to the Holy Spirit and then they are taken away. So this is the, the power of healing, the power of prayer. To, to see that you must go within and in one sense acknowledge, face this fear, allow this fear to surface so that it can be let go of. So is one of the functions of this story to support the looking at that fear? Yeah, it's, it can be very supportive to have a context for it because when fear arises uh, the mind can just go into a shutdown phase, or into a panic phase, or into ex distractions again, falling back into distractions. So the doorway is very supportive, giving a context for this transcending of fear. And it's actually very important in that sense.